Okay, so this is the wood stove that I put in. This stove is identical to the stove that I restored last year. I don't know if you saw the video or if you care, but last year I picked up a wood stove similar to this. Actually, it was exactly like this. It was it was really fun to restore, and I ended up selling it because I fixed it up so nice. I wanted to have it outside here on the patio, but um, the darn thing was too nice to put outside. So I ended up selling that for 800 bucks. Anyways, it took me a few extra three months to find another one. I picked this one up, I think, for 100, and so now. This one is on the patio. This one's actually been set up here. It's been outside here for a little while. A couple of rainstorms, and you can see it's starting to turn a little rusty, but that's okay. If you look up here, you see the chimney support. Well, I had it mocked up here. I had it shorter and about four feet less, and it stayed fine. We had a couple of windstorms until I added the four foot section. Um, right about here, I added that whole new piece up here. And sure enough, like the next day, it tipped over. So I had to come up with a roof support system. So I kind of did this. Um, I made this up myself. There's a seam right there, and it's fully adjustable. So if you want to see me light it up, I'm gonna light it up right now. Okay, so the way I like to start a fire in this thing is I like to wrinkle up some paper, and I like to take some cardboard, and I put that at the bottom, and on top of all that, I put kindling. And it usually starts a pretty good fire, and then I start with some small pieces of wood and build it up. Do you have some pieces here, some more solid. So all this together, a bunch of wrinkled papers, this will light the cardboard, which in turn will light all this kindling pieces, which will light some of the smaller pieces, and that will get these bigger chunks to go. And this is going to be a very nice, easy fire to light. I'll flick at the switch here, flick right here, and we're good to go. Yeah, this stove puts off a lot of heat. Now this one over here puts off a lot of heat too, but it's fast. This one. Puts off every hour, I could just throw some logs on here, and man, it's hot. I could control it with a damper right here. So I usually, once it's super hot and it's roaring and it's going, I usually turn the damper way down, and um, works out pretty good. This material here is just stepping stones. That's all that really is. I think that um, having something like this in the back, if you're allowed to, or if you can, is really enjoyable and fun and relaxing.